Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. My name is uh, Dr. Apolina Itundi, and I am a senior lecturer in mechatronics and also, as I like to say, a researcher in rehabilitation robotics. As far as I'm aware, it's the, the very first bio-inspired motorized prosthetic leg. What this project has allowed us to do is to bring together the way the residual limb is changing over time the way the residual limb acts on the socket and we've used that information to actually drive the motion of the leg, to actually control the way the leg moves. Uh, so my name is Igor Berkovetsky. My specific disability is a high above knee, rather high above knee amputation, uh, which leaves a very short residual limb, which can make it quite difficult to fit a prosthetic around it and uh, give the support and comfort that is required. So that's uh, one of the challenges that we are tackling with the um, uh, new socket. Make a prosthetic that is easier to manufacture, can reduce the cost and make prosthetics more affordable. First of all, the Sabathlon um, competition that we're entering, for that event, we have 10 different activities. 10 activities uh, will enable Igor to demonstrate the way he can actually use his leg to do different movement with it. So different type of movements, allowing him to do normal walking, at the same time as walking while carrying different type of objects, at the same time as being able to go over objects, going also over hurdles, uh, also going up and down stairs. So there's a, there's a variety here of activities. The hope really is to let people know that we are capable to uh, make legs that are customised for individuals. We're working really hard training and developing prosthetic now for the Cybathlon, for the different events, hoping to a really good platform to be able to showcase our design, make it more available to the public in the future.